is very concise. The words are very few. But people don't want to hear the truth because the truth hurts. But you grow from pain. You really, you really do. You can't know how to deal with success. You can't know how to deal with failures. You can't know how to deal with the bumps in the road that if you haven't had a taste of everything. We all have next level ability. There's not other people that aren't holding you back. Your boss isn't holding you back. Your parents aren't holding you back. Those are excuses. To me, there's no such thing as luck, okay? All luck is preparation meeting opportunity. Plain and simple. You have to be ready, prepared for that situation. If you're an employee of this company and the boss puts you into a pressure situation, that's a privilege. He believes in you. You better deliver. Because if you don't, that situation goes to somebody else and you may never get that opportunity again. Everything matters. If you take any situation and just take the word only and take the word just out of it, it changes the whole phrase. It's just a game. It's a game. It's only a job. The body has limitations. The mind does not. We focus so much on what goes on from the neck down that we forget it all starts from here. Everything starts from there. If you're not mentally ready, you're never really physically prepared. And that's where the preparation starts. I firmly believe that everybody on this planet has a gift. It's your job to figure out what that gift is. Then it becomes your job to decide whether you're going to act on that or not. Everyone sees the work that you put in, but it's what you don't see is going to determine how far you're going to get. I, I, I hear stuff all the time. People say, oh, look in the mirror and you'll see why you're not succeeding. I don't believe that. Okay, It's what you don't see in the mirror. That's what's holding you back. It's what you're not willing to see is why talent is not enough. And when you, when you finally see it and accept it and decide to work on it, then you can take that next step. Warriors are built from the struggle, formed from pain, strengthened by adversity. Embrace your challenges and push through them like the warrior you are. You are stronger than your part and you are stronger than the challenges coming in your future. The strength I have is like no other. I am not a survivor. I am a warrior. I don't survive. I thrive. I can do this and I will get through this. I make the best of bad situations. I see the opportunity in the struggle. I grow strength from my hardship. I am thankful for my hard time. They make me stronger. I am thankful for the pain. It makes me raise my game. I am grateful for the worst of time. It ensures my story will be a great one. From zero to hero. From nothing to something. From the bottom to the top. Here I come. life of productivity? Do you want to live a life of contribution? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. See, I can tell what you expect by what you do. That's why the Bible says, judge a tree by the fruit it bears, not the fruit that it wants, not the fruit that it talks about, not the fruit that it claims but by what you are doing. See, what you do when you leave here, when the music stops, when the shouting dies down, your behavior, 
how you conduct yourself, writing your goals down. You must be willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. When something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, nothing can stop you. No mountain, no trial, no tribulation. Nothing can stop you when it's deeper than just money and stuff. Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? If you think it's going to be easy, if you think you're just going to get that business started without any trials or trouble, forget about it. Don't even try to be successful. It's a wrap. It's not going to be easy. But I want you to feel that pain going through your body. And if pain leaves your body, guess what's going to take its place? Success. All roads to success, you got to go through pain. When you travel down success, you got to go through the road of pain, baby. I told you before, if it was easy, everybody would do it. No pain, no gain. I can, I can get through this difficulty right now, through this pain. I can, I can, I can. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. Get your butt up. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. I guarantee you, if you can outlast pain, if you can get through that pain, if you can get through that discomfort, all right? If you can outlast that discomfort on the other side of it is success. So the things that we run from, we're running from the truth. We're running from the truth, man. As painful and as brutal as it is, we have the ability to go in such a space. If you're willing to suffer, and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. The only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer to grow. To grow, you must suffer. So I wanted to change to be the hardest man ever created. And my goal when I was sitting there, not going to school, being bullied, being having no self-esteem, my goal was, the only person that's gonna turn this person around is me. How? That's the question. How are you gonna do that? I had to build calluses in my brain the same way I built calluses on my hands. So I broke the Guinness Book of World's record for pull-ups a long time ago, but I failed in it twice. And I did 67,000 pull-ups <laughs> in trying to break this record. So to do 4,030 pull-ups, I had to do 67,000 for training for that. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people are saying. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happens tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one so I can handle what life is gonna throw at me because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just gonna crumble and you're good for nobody. Even the hardest men, in times of suffering, what we do is we forget how hard we really are. Suffering is the true test of life. We are all great, no matter if, if you think you're dumb, no matter if you think you're fat, no matter if you are fat, no matter if you've been bullied or no matter if you just got back from Iraq or Afghanistan and you have no legs or your arms or whatever, man, we all have greatness.